Hey, what is going on guys? How are you guys doing? It has been a while since I made a video, but I got something super exciting in the post today. So I thought I would do a quick unboxing review for you guys. So this is the Resident Evil 4 Remake Collector's Edition, which officially came out last week on Friday the 24th of March 2023. So uh, yeah, this is the newest Resident Evil which is currently released and I'm super, super excited. Resident Evil 4 is my all-time favorite Resident Evil game out there. The remake looks super promising so I really cannot wait to open this up. Anyhow, it is rated 18 in the UK. We have the Resident Evil 4 logo on the fronts and uh, all these various designs and patterns on the fronts. So that's the front of the packaging. Let's take a look at the sides. Nothing much happening on the sides, and as for the back, we have everything that's included with this edition. So let's take a look here. So first up, it looks like we have a steelbook, we have the map, we have the DLC codes, we have the statue of Leon S. Kennedy, which looks pretty nice, really cannot wait to check that out. We have the soundtrack, we have the art book, and of course we have the packaging. And as for the other sides of the packaging, pretty much the same. And that's the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Stay tuned, guys. So it has been a while since I made a unboxing review. I'm just super excited to get this thing opened up and to give you guys a look at this edition. So let me know if you guys prefer the original or the remake of the game. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys like better. But first up, we have the game itself. So this is the steelbook. So uh, yeah, very, very nice steelbook. I'll uh, get this thing opened up in a moment. But let's put that to the size. We also have a piece of cardboard right here, which uh, let's get this thing out of the packaging. And down here we have the soundtrack for the game and we have the uh, the actual DLC pack product code, which code is just right in the, uh, the, the white bar right there. So I'm not going to give you guys a look at my codes, but I believe these are exclusive to this collector's edition. But I think you may be able to buy these in the, um, in the PSN store. So let's put them to the side for the moment as well. So next up we have, seems to be the map of um, the whole world of Resident Evil 4, which is pretty cool. Take a look at that in a moment. And down here we have the, um, the art book. Very, very nice. Put it to the side once again, and let's open up the last piece of cardboard. And down here we have the main thing, the uh, statue of Leon S. Kennedy from the Resident Evil 4 remake. Very, very nice. Okay, so here is everything out of the packaging. And let's take a quick recap on everything that we have here. So first up, we have the art book. We have the packaging for the game. We have the statue of Leon, which is a pretty nice piece. I'm pretty impressed with it. I can't wait to give you guys a close up on this figure. Very, very nice. And down here we have the steel book for the game, the packaging for the figure, and down here we have the map and the, uh, the DLC codes and the soundtrack. So let's take a closer look at each piece. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the steelbook. So let's get the uh, plastic cellophane off the game and let's take a look. So here's the front of the sleeve. It's very simplistic, I really like the design. We have the Resident Evil 4 logo with uh, the silhouettes of Leon standing in front of the kind of main courtyards in, uh, in the village. Uh, do you guys call Leon Leon or Leon? Let me know in the comments below. I personally call him Leon, but I think the uh, pronunciation is Leon. So here's the side of the spine, we have the Resident Evil 4 logo. Once again, and here's the back, we have a bit of text here. So if you guys want to read this, then by all means, feel free to pause and read. It's just a bit about the, uh, the storyline of the game. We have a couple of screenshots. We've got Leon fighting the Chainsaw Ganado, and there's some screenshots of the game and some credits. So let's get the sleeve off the steelbook and let's take a look. Okay, so it seems like we have the same image of the front of the sleeve on the steelbook, which I don't mind. I mean, I love this picture. It's very, very nice, very shiny, very high quality. And on the back we have, oh, it seems like we have a photo of, um, it looks like Ashley, maybe Ada, I'm not sure, but uh, we have this kind of nice uh, blue like outline to make out all the, uh, all the forests and leaves and whatnot. Okay, so as for the inside, I'm not sure if there's gonna be any codes here, so let me just take a quick look. Nope, it seems like we just have uh, this, you know, just typical uh, PlayStation leaflets on the inside. So let's put that to the side for the moment, and we have the game itself, the disc. Seems like um, it's the church sequence uh, when you first meet Ashley. 
which is pretty nice. Very high quality, very shiny once again. Once again, it's a very simplistic steelbook, but um, yeah, I do, I do like it a lot. So let's get the disc back in here and the leaflet, and that is the steelbook. And next up, let's take a look at the map. So here's the map in its entirety of all the locations in the game. And down here we have a bit of text. Not really sure what it says, if you guys can make it out. And down here we have this symbol, looks like a compass. And then here we have the Hunter's Lodge. We have the abandoned factory, the church, where you first meet Ashley, the fish farm, the quarry, lake, where you fight that giant, you know, the giant creature thing. I don't know what it is, like a lizard or whatever. Really don't know, but uh, down here we have, seems like checkpoint, like sides, settlements, I think, uh, villa, farm, village square, and I think that's all the locations. Oh, of course, we can't forget about the castle, which is the main thing, the main kind of area, which is uh, most famous about Resident Evil 4. Really cannot wait to check out all these locations in the game. So uh, yeah, that's the map. It's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty simple. Really not much going on here, but it's pretty high quality. And it's kind of nice to have the whole game, which you can hang up on your wall. And so next up, let's take a look at the art book. So now I'm probably not gonna go page by page because as you can see right here, we have a bit of text, which says, this art book contains designs and information that can be seen throughout Resident Evil 4. We recommend playing through the game first to avoid any spoilers. So um, yeah, I don't wanna spoil the game for myself or you guys. So I'm gonna be super, super careful here. So yeah, just, you know, be careful what we see. But anyhow, let's take a look. So first up, we have Leon S. Kennedy. It's pretty much the exact same design. And we have this brown fur leather jacket, which is pretty iconic to the character. Who's your favorite character from Resident Evil? Mine has got to be Leon. I mean, he's, he's always been my favorite. I would say my top three is probably Leon, Ada, and then Jill in order. Uh, yeah, what about you guys? Who's your top three favorite characters? Let me know in the comments below. But anyhow, that's a look at Leon, and uh, we have Hunnigan down here at the bottom. I've got to say, these are also very, very high quality images. As you can see, they're like super HD renders of the characters, which is really, really nice. So this is Ashley, Ashley Graham. I wasn't a massive fan of the character from the original Resident Evil 4, but uh, they really seem to have improved on the character on, uh, on the new remake here. I guess this is, um, yeah, this is pretty similar to how she looked in the original game, but I guess they've included this, this new coat for the remake. Let's take a look, see what else we have here. So we have Luis or Luis, whatever which way you want to say his name, I really cannot remember. But um, yeah, this is a pretty different design, I would say, from the original. I mean, the face looks pretty similar, but I think the whole design is completely different from how he looked in the original. Very, very nice. Very, you know, high quality close-ups of the characters' faces. Yeah, let's take a look, see what else here. So it seems like we have some designs of the environments. We have the main village in the game. We have uh, like all these kind of symbols of the Los Illuminados. Down here we have the Chainsaw Ganado, which is, you know, one of the fan favorites, uh, enemy characters from Resident Evil. You know, such a, such a cool character, very terrifying character. And then down here we have some designs of the villagers, whatnot. Pretty nice. Next up here we have the abandoned factory. And here we have the village chief. So um, yeah, I don't want to see too much because once again, I don't want to, I don't want to see any spoilers. I kind of want to keep the game fresh. This is my all time favorite Resident Evil. So I just want to enjoy the game as much as possible without seeing any spoilers. But, uh, here we have the main church in the game. We have this dog creature down here, or like a wolf. I don't know what this is, it looks like half half man, half, you know, like cow or bull, I really don't know. That's 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 definitely a new design from uh, uh, for, uh, for the remake. I don't remember seeing anything like that in the original game. This looks like the shooting gallery for the merchants, which seems to be very pirate themed. Pretty cool. And uh, here we have the giant, Gigante. Very, very cool. Looks to be the same design. Next up, we have, yeah, this giant creature thing. The, uh, it doesn't even say the name of the, um, of what the creature is called. I, I really cannot remember the name of this, of this, um, of this monster. 
But there's of course the lake area in which he fights the creature. It also seems to be the same type of design. They don't really seem to have changed much for that character. Next up we have some designs of the monks. So uh, I really haven't seen too much on this game. I haven't seen like any designs of the monks or whatnot. So this is my first time. But from what I can see, it looks to be very similar designs. I mean, I guess that's kind of what they're going for. They don't want to make it, you know, a completely different game. They want to keep it as true as possible to the original game itself. And this is Ramon Salazar. And uh, yeah, this character is way, way different from the original. This is kind of how he looked in the original game. And as you can see, he's far different in the remake. And here we have Garador, which is one of my favorite enemies from Resident Evil 4. It's just such a cool design. Once again, it seems to be a very similar design. We have all these chess pieces, which I don't really remember these in the game. And next up here, I mean, I guess we're going page by page, but there really isn't too much I see here that's going to spoil the game. And down here we have, yeah, another um, enemy character, Dugo. Yeah, very similar. I'm surprised how similar these designs really are. I thought they would, you know, maybe make them a little bit different. And of course we have Ada. My second favorite character from the whole entire Resident Evil franchise. I really don't like the um, the voice, uh, the voice actress that they got for the new remake. I seen some clips of uh, some clips of Ada, and I did not like the voice. I really wish that they used the uh, the same voice actor from Resident Evil 2 remake, or even the original Resident Evil 4 had a very good voice for Ada. But then, uh, yeah, I just don't know what happens with the new voice actress for the remake. I'm not really not really feeling this. And here we have some more designs, like all these type of religious, you know, cult designs for the Los Illuminados. Pretty cool. See what else we have here? We're coming up close to the end of the book. There's some like type of treasures for the game. And of course we have the merchant, which I'm so happy to see back. I would say one of the most famous characters from the Resident Evil franchise. Very iconic character with the, uh, with his iconic lines. Really cannot wait to see how he, uh, how he plays in the game. And here we have the credits on the making of the art book. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, we covered every single page. You know, there really wasn't much in this art book that was gonna spoil the game. So uh, yeah, I think, I think it's pretty safe to look at. But anyhow, that's a look at the art book. Okay, and so here we have the main thing in this collector's edition, which is the figure of Leon S. Kennedy from the new remake. It's a pretty nice piece. I've gotta say, it is a lot better than I expected. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have the exact likeness of Leon from the game, but I do think for what they've done here, it is pretty nice. And it's got some very nice detailing, especially on the, uh, on the jacket piece and on all the pouches. It's also pretty nicely painted and it comes with this very nice display base. And the packaging is pretty nice as well. It's very similar to the other Collector Edition figures. So let's just get a little close up on the head sculpts of the figure. So yeah, as I mentioned, it's got a pretty nice head sculpt. But I would say the paint isn't the best on the face. It looks a bit too, I don't know. It seems like they've added too much shading around the cheeks and the foreheads. I think if they uh, kept the figure one tone, it probably would have looked much better. But for what it is, I'm pretty happy. And uh, they've done a pretty nice job on the hair piece. You can see all the strands of hair sculpted in there. And um, I think his eyes are even painted a like greenish blue, which is pretty nice. And you can even see freckles on the face which is quite impressive for a mass-produced collector's edition figure. And uh, moving down here, we have the fur jacket piece, all these nice kind of textures of leather, which look quite realistic, I would say. The hand here holding the shotgun. Even the gloves are very nicely done. You can see all the textures sculpted in there. And here's a look at the shotgun, which goes all the way down here. So yeah, I'll probably make a full review on this Collector's Edition statue of Leon. I've also got the, uh, the other Collector Edition figures from the previous editions. So uh, we have Jill, we have Chris, and we have the Resident Evil 2 remake Leon as well. So uh, I'll give you guys a comparison in, uh, in my full review for this Leon statue. Very nice texturing. The trouser piece, you can see all these folds and creases. It looks very realistic. And even the boots down here, quite nicely weathers. And of course we have the base with the name. And here's the back of the figure, so we have the hair piece. 
and the back of the jackets, the brown fur jackets. Which I would say is probably the main thing about this design for Leon. You know, without the jacket, he doesn't he doesn't look right. I mean, I know he kind of takes off the jackets like quarter way through the game, but I just think this brown jacket looks the best on the uh, Resident Evil 4 version of Leon. Yeah, gotta be my all-time favorite design for Leon. I also love the uh, the Resident Evil 6 design, but uh, I I don't know. I just think this one is way more iconic. Anyhow, here at the side we have. The holster for the pistol and all the pouches here. Some uh, magazine pouches, very very nice. And down here we have the back of the legs with all these nice textures and creases in the trouser piece. And that's the back of the display base. Okay, so I was gonna save this for my full review of this Leon figure, but I just thought I would give you guys a quick bonus on uh, all the Resident Evil Remake Collector Edition statues that have currently been released and of course we have the uh, Kotobukiya Leon Kennedy figure from uh, Resident Evil Vendetta just as a bonus so uh, here's how they look so first up we have Jill got the original Resident Evil 2 remake Leon and we have the new Resident Evil 4 remake Leon as well as you can see he's, he's actually taller he's much taller compared to the Resident Evil 2 version and we have Chris. So yeah, here's how they look. Once again, I'll give you guys a more detailed look at all of these figures in my full review. And just a quick close up on the head sculpts. So I would say that Chris has definitely got the best head sculpts out of all the collector edition figures. But I do like the Resident Evil 4 remake lay on head sculpt as well. It's definitely much better compared to the Resident Evil 2. And we have Jill and we have the uh, Vendetta Leon, which is by far the best figure out of all five of these. It's uh, just much higher quality. But anyhow, I think this is a, you know, a pretty good figure for a collector's edition piece. Okay guys, so that's pretty much going to conclude my unboxing review of the Resident Evil 4 Remake Collector's Edition. So yes guys, a very nice edition. I would say if you guys are a big fan of Resident Evil 4, then you will absolutely love this edition. So now this piece is sold out, but you can still find it for you know a relatively good price considering how rare this piece is going to go for. So I would say if you guys can find it for a good price, then just go for it because I think this edition is going to get super super expensive in the future. And yeah, you guys do not want to miss out on this edition while well, you can still pick it up. So yeah, very very nice piece. I'm very happy it fits. And uh, yeah, I really cannot wait to play the game. It's going to be, you know, really amazing. I think it's going to be one of the best Resident Evil games out there and I really hope it wins game of the year for 2023. Anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching. I am back making videos. I was gone for a bit but I am back and uh, yeah, I'm going to make so many more videos. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for those. And if you guys are new to the channel then please subscribe. I will have plenty more videos on the way. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really really appreciate you guys sticking by the channel even though I was gone for uh, quite a bit. So yes, thank you guys, and yeah, we'll catch you all in the next video. Alright, take it easy guys.